Mike back here today, and today we are finally building our sugarcane farm. As you can see, we have some shulker boxes beside me, and we have all of the blocks we're going to be building it out of. We're going to be using mostly lime concrete and lime glass. Uh, we have some redstone. We're not going to need all of this. I just kind of put a little shulker box of redstone together so I could carry it on me. And then we have some slabs, and I need to grab some. I don't want to use a stone. Uh, we'll just grab a couple stacks of stone brick in case we need it, just as uh, extra building materials. So if we grab our uh, shulker boxes, and I also have something else to show you. If we open our ender chest, I went through, and I pretty much made one of every shulker box. So we have... Are ender well, these are just ender pearls I was collecting. Um, I've got one for sand, we have the three we're using, and then we have our tools, a bunch of gold, and our fireworks and ender pearls. Which actually, I'm going to use this as my ender pearl box, so we won't need that there. So, anyway, enough with that, let's go see where we're going to build this. And I actually have a couple other things to show you. So, in between episodes, I went and got some nether wart. And I planted it around our portal. I don't know. It kind of looks cool. I don't really ever plan on using a lot of nether wart. So, that should be plenty for what we need. Also, I have now own a mob farm. Now, I haven't been doing videos on farms that I build. Namely, because... They're not my designs, and I don't want to build something that, you know, I didn't design. But this is, uh, this is designed by Nimbom MC. Nimbon MC. That is, I don't know why that's hard for me to say. Uh, but this is his design that I slightly modified. Um, meaning that, because we have mythic mobs on the server, that they don't, always die from fall damage so we have just basically a pit of lava that they fall in with hoppers underneath of it to collect the drops I might have showed that last video I don't really remember who is green stuff uh, blues friend we also have uh, discord integration on the server so people like in Discord can talk to people on the server. That's pretty cool. Um, but where we're going to build this is... I'm debating. We're either going to build it here... What? I don't know what that guy's talking about. We're either going to build it here... Or we're going to build it over here. And I'm thinking I kind of want to build it here. It's not going to be a very big farm at all. Um... And I, I'm going to expand the wheat fields. Those are going to come up here, probably all the way up into here somewhere. Um, so I think if we build it here, kind of next to the mob farm, it should be okay. Um, I was going to build it right behind the house, but we have a lot of stuff crowding our house. And I don't really want to add more, like... The only real place we could build it, okay, I get, I'm, that's some weird chunk loading. Um, the only place we could build it would be like over in here. And I, I just, I don't know if I want to build it here. I don't know what I want to do with this little area yet. Um, also, the numbers on tab, those are how many mobs a player has killed. So that's pretty freaking cool. I'm waiting for my Discord to ding. So, I don't know. Either place, I'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. Um, this up here is pretty flat. I, mm, this is a hard decision. I might just build it right here. Like I said, it's not going to be a very big farm. Because the design that I have in mind, you really only need to make it as wide as you want. But you can stack it vertically very easily. Um, so, that, that would give us one. Two. 
15. So that would give us 15. <laughs> I don't know. Let me come up with a uh, let me come up with a little area, and I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, and I am back. Let's see this a steak real quick, and I'll show you guys kind of what I've got going on here. So this is going to be the basic layout for the bottom level, and basically our sugar cane is going to be placed on the dirt. And it'll just flow whenever the pistons break it. So the pistons will be here, going all the way down. If I could actually break those, that would be lovely. And this is, so the pistons will be like this, all the way down. And we're going to have this on a etho hopper clock. So that it fires at a given uh, set of time. So what will happen is, is when the pistons fire... The sugar cane will be dropped into this water stream and go down into this hopper and then come out into the chest. Now, the size of this farm, I really don't ever think it's going to harvest more than five stacks at a time. Now, because we're only going to let it grow too high. It'll only ever grow too high. Most of the time it'll be one. And we're only going to stack this like two or three times. We don't need, you don't ever need insane amounts of sugar cane. Um... So, what we're going to do is, I actually need to go home. You know what, we'll just cheat and slash back. Because I forgot to grab two slime balls. Because we need two sticky pistons. So, back here, we are going to have... This is our middle, so we're just going to have a... We're just going to put a line of redstone there, just so we know that our middle's there. And then we're just going to build a standard plain Jane Etho Hopper Clock. And I'll kind of show you guys uh, what that is if you guys have never seen one. So basically, what you have is a... Uh, it needs to go there. You have two pistons, one on top of each of these comparators with a redstone block in the middle and then you put items inside of this in this case we'll put a stack of dirt and then you power the pistons via this so what happens is since the redstone block was pushed over here it unlocks this hopper so that this one can flow so once it gets done we'll take some items out we don't need that many just for a demonstration so once all those items flow over to this side it then switches and goes back over here. So then what you can do is you can then come out of there. And we're going to actually have this set up separate. So each side of this is going to be separate. That's why I made the center line here. So coming out of this block on each side, we are going to have it go into a monostable. Now... Different people use different monostables, and I don't have any droppers. Uh, I don't remember how to make a dropper. Cobblestone, not stone. We'll just make a bunch of these, because I'm sure we'll use them. That'll work. Looks like we need to get some more cobblestone. So, you have this run into a dropper, with a hopper on top of it. Any old item in there, I don't really want to use my steak, but I can. I don't know where that... Huh? Oh, okay, it didn't actually go in it, it went on top. So, you put your item in there, and then you take a comparator signal out of that dropper. In this case, we're going to go on the side here. And it turns the pulse of the monostable because it, it's a constant pulse here. So that'll then turn it into a one tick pulse. As you guys can see whenever it triggers back, we'll see it on this side, what? Why did that not trigger? 
That's weird. I've built like four of these. I don't know why. I don't know why all of a sudden it's not uh, working. Okay. You don't have to compare that, do you? No. It should be a repeater, not a comparator. Because you wouldn't have to compare. Okay, so it did flash. That's really weird. I don't know why that didn't... Anyway, so then we're actually going to move this to here. And we're going to put, I think it's two redstone. Actually, we'll just put it... Center should be there. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, it's an even number. Whatever. Um. So basically, you run that into your pistons, and it will give you a one tick pulse. Should anyway. In theory, it'll give you a one tick pulse. There we go. So, then we just need to run our blocks, break that piston, run our blocks along here, like so, and then we can put our pistons up. And we don't need a piston here, because that block's not actually going to have anything on it. And since we need to go up, we are actually going to use a redstone tower on the back of this. Actually, no. No, I had it right to begin with. I'm going to go like that, and then we will... Place a line of blocks, like so, and I don't, I don't really want to use a lot of redstone dust because redstone dust is laggy because of lighting updates, but I will if I have to, I would rather just use repeaters. It's going to be, it's more expensive, but it's a lot less laggy. So we're just going to use repeaters, and we're actually going to use rails. to transmit the signal. So all them pistons should fire when that takes back over. I'm an idiot. Yes I am, yes I am. Now it should take over. Okay, I'm going to work on this redstone and I'll be right back.